To every problem, there is a solution. The Blackmagic Production Camera 4K. Horrendous battery life. Non-removable internal battery. How can you run and gun with a camera like this? The answer? You build a proper rig for it. Let's begin with the frame. There are many options available. This is the CPM camera rig. It's nice because it's strong and lightweight. And it's all toolless design, just thumb screws. So here you have a shoulder style ENG rig. The key is the power supply base plate. So all you have to do is take any V-mount battery. And there are many options available here too. Here's a Swisstronics. This is a LAN part. This is an ICANN, this is a big one. This one will last you a long time. If I put this baby on here, I can get about six hours powering the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K. And I can also power my monitor from this same battery. So these power supply base plates, they come with different power adapters, power cables. This is just a 12 volt to 12 volt. So this, you can go from the base plate into the camera and power your camera. Use another one of these and go from the base plate into your monitor or whatever else you want to power. You can also go P-tap to 12 volt. But the key is you want this brick to power your entire rig if possible. So with the battery solution covered, you can have a rig that you can shoot with for at least four hours and you can easily switch out these batteries on the fly and be back into shooting, which is essential if you're doing run and gun shooting. The next thing to consider is which lens to use. For run and gun applications, zoom lens is best. You don't have time to change lenses. And you also want something with a constant aperture because you don't want the image to darken as you zoom in. This is my favorite lens to use with the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K. It's the Canon EFS 17 to 55 millimeter f2.8. The reason I like it is because it's super sharp all the way through the f-stop range, even wide open at f2.8. Also, it's optically image stabilized, which is great for handheld shooting. I usually shoot at f2.8 whenever possible because I like the shallow depth of field, and obviously the Blackmagic production camera sucks at low light, so f2.8 will help you there. If you really need low light, use a Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 but you're gonna lose that optical image stabilization. So let's attach the lens. The next problem you're gonna run into with the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K is the audio. Sure, it has balanced quarter inch audio inputs and it records 24-bit audio, but the preamps suck. Enter the Juice Link BMC 388. This is my favorite low noise preamp to use with this camera and it's specifically designed for the Blackmagic cameras. The reason is because it has really high quality low noise preamps so you can really get a better signal to noise ratio for professional sounding audio. It gives you three XLR inputs and two independent channels. And best of all, it fits on your camera discreetly. Slim profile, mounted snugly, so I just leave it on there all the time because I like it so much. Another problem, this camera doesn't have any audio meters. They say there's a firmware update coming, but we don't know when. You can't trust Blackmagic. On the Juice Link, you have audio meters, and you can mix on the fly with these knobs. Not to mention all the other advanced user controls, such as audio bracketing. So let's start assembling this rig. Simply gonna slide the camera onto the base plate, lock it into place. So we have our battery solution, our audio solution, our nice ENG style lens. Next thing, a monitor. Because the monitor on the Blackmagic production camera kind of sucks. The resolution is not horrible, 800 by 480, but the viewing angles are really bad and it's just not production accurate. Enter a production monitor. Of course, there are many options available here and a lot of really nice monitors out there. This is an ICANN D7W. It's a nice monitor because it's slim, aluminum body, 7 inch, 1280 by 800. So I'm doubling the resolution from what's on the camera. Let's hook it up. Notice here, I have a Noga arm. And I also have a lot of other little rig parts that make adjusting your rig and swapping out equipment really fast and easy. Watch how I can just slide this monitor into place. Lock it down. This is my first lock. 
And then I have this other back, backup secondary lock. That monitor is not going anywhere. And I can easily position it exactly where I want it. All right, so let's just plug the SDI into the camera. And let's make sure the monitor has power. So I'm gonna take one of these 12 volt cables and plug it into the monitor here. I have another 12 volt cable over here that I've run through my rig and I'll plug it in to the camera. Also notice that I have another cold shoe mount here that I can easily adjust and put my shotgun mic onto it. I'm gonna slide it into place and I'll lock this and plug it in to my BMC 388. Now I'm ready to shoot. I can grab this handle here, put it onto my shoulder, and it's comfortably balanced so that I can hold it with my left hand here and use my right hand to adjust the zoom and the focus. Of course, if you want, you can throw a follow focus on there, but when I'm using a zoom lens, I don't like the, the additional weight, and plus I have my, my hand on the, zoom, on the zoom lever anyway, so I find it more convenient just to be able to zoom and pull focus with one hand instead of going back and forth between the follow focus and the lens. So there's a few pro tips from a master rig builder such as myself. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. We look forward to the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K review coming soon. I'm Brandon Peterson with ECG Productions, ecgprod.com forward slash blog. This concludes my rig building tutorial for the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K in a very dramatic fashion.